Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly here and today I want to chat about Kindles, my feelings of them and along with my Kindle that I have and how I stay organized reading and how I actually read. So stay tuned. <music> So welcome back to my channel so it's Molly here and I just want to we'll start with the first point and I just want to talk about my Kindle so in 2019 before the panini slash health crisis I decided to buy myself a Kindle it's just funny because my boss she bought the Nook my boss at the time she bought a Nook I bought a Kindle she wanted to upgrade her Nook it was so old and I never had a Kindle or a Nook and I love to read so I figured you know what why don't I buy it try it out see if I like it I can always download books onto it and just delete them whenever I don't need them so I decided to go ahead and purchase it I bought the Paperwhite Kindle and it this is the one that I have right now is the 2019 apparently they updated it for 2022 so I don't know if anything has changed I'm sure there might be a tweak or two, but this is the 2019 one that I have. And so, I read a couple books off of it, and there's a reason for it. So, I, I really do love the Nook because we'll do the first basics. So, you're able to download, as long as you have internet, I believe, you're able to download and buy books off of it, which I think is pretty nice. And so I bought the Paperwhite because I do not want a blue screen. I, my eyes are so bad, I wear contacts. <laughs> so my eyes are so bad, so I'm like, I don't want the blue screen. Plus, I like sometimes reading before bed just to get my mind off things if I'm having trouble sleeping. So I'm like, I am not going to get the Kindle Fire that I looked into it that has blue screen. I don't know if you can actually take the blue screen off at night time. I haven't even thought about researching that part, it just said that it, it has blue screen. So I'm like, no, that's not the way to go for me personally because I like to read at night. And blue screen, before you go to bed, is very bad for your brain. It basically fires it up again. So, I said no to the Kindle Fire and I looked at the Paperwhite and this is actually does not have blue screen. So this is the reason why I chose the Paperwhite. So I bought the Paperwhite with the charger and a case. I really like this case. It's nice and red and it just holds it very nicely. So, and so the good thing about the Kindle is that you can download a lot of books onto it as long as, like I said, you have the internet access, it'll just go right onto it when you're ready to download it. So, especially when you're traveling, it's really good to have if you travel a lot. You can just take this with you, not chugging too many books with you or like a big book like say a big Harry Potter book <laughs> so and there is that like it's nice because I can just flip it turn it on and it's good and also too so it's to me it's environmental friendly you just have to charge it every so often the battery is actually pretty good on it as well like I can have a full week of not charging it and that's pretty good for me I, I'm a light reader like I read but I'm a light reader so it usually lasts me for about a week and then I'll start charging it or whenever it gets slow like to 60% so and again environmental friendly you can take it anywhere the one that I have is water resistant which is very nice especially because I like to go to the lake and read on my parents book sometimes boat sometimes <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I like to make sure that things are waterproof just in case and this one that I bought is waterproof so that's a big thing and then so I'm like yeah I bought it the only thing I don't like about it is I am one of those people that I love the smell of new books and the touch of new books ah so with the Kindle, you cannot have that smell of new books. I'm like Rory Gilbert when it just comes to book us. I'm just like, and just to that feel of the book. And like, even if I bought a book at Goodwill, which sometimes I do, or another thrift shop, or like, just like reused book, I just 
find it so interesting like where has this reader taken this book like even at the library i'm like where has this book gone like i just find it so interesting so with the kindle you can't do that and also too like i said the kindle needs to be charged so if you're traveling a lot and you just have to remind in the back of your head that you might need to charge it before you go and also two another downside i feel like is that sometimes Books can be cheaper, like at Goodwill, though a lot of times they're actually pretty good prices on the Kindle compared to like if you actually buy it physically. But like if you go to Goodwill, it can be cheaper because it's not a brand new book. But even sometimes too, like just buying at like Barnes & Noble might be cheaper. So it's got to even out the book prices, you know what I mean? So there's that. And again, too, like you need the internet to download it. So you have to really make sure before you go somewhere you have to download it and you know and then too like if you're on the plane you have to put it on airplane mode too so that means no wi-fi for it unless you're buying the wi-fi on the airplane so it's kind of like overall in general i really do love my kindle i haven't been using it recently because i actually have physical books i need to read i cannot wait to get back on to reading on my kindle i'm actually going to read next um because i only bought it for a buck is me so this is love I, um the twisted tail cinderella twisted tail i bought it for a dollar one day on um, um, they're having a sale and i just bought it because i really love the twisted tails and that's i actually read Reflection, the Milan one, on this too, and I really enjoyed reading it on here and also reading it itself, just the mythology, um, Chinese mythology. I found that very interesting, so I really do, like I said, like it. I've been enjoying it. First time when these came out, my parents were like, Do you want one? Like, can we get you one? We know you love to read. I'm like, I don't see myself holding it like I don't know so I was like and this was probably like 2007 I mean 2017 when like they were like becoming mainstream I feel like so it, my parents like do you want one you love to read like can we get you one and I'm like no I don't think I'll use it but again I really do like it I do highly suggest it if you are a big reader you can get a lot of stuff on this too um and then sometimes there's books that are only on the Kindle as well. So, it's very interesting. So, you have to do research. And again, I really like this. No blue screen. Because blue screen equals bad to me. <laughs> um, during the nighttime, anyways, when I'm trying to read. And then, so, overall, in general, I really do like my Kindle. I can take it anywhere. Just store it in my suitcase, my bat bag. I'm up to reading. Just got to make sure, like I said, it's charging it. And now, let's talk about how I read. So usually when I read, I have a non-fiction that I'm reading and a fiction because I feel like I'm a lifelong, lifelong learner. So I do enjoy having a non-fiction book. It can be about money. It can be about psychology. I'm also leaning into autobiographies um, and just to get inspiration from other people's lives that I really enjoyed. So, like, I really want to get my hands on the Jeanette McCurdy book that she, that she wrote her autobiography. I feel like that's going to be very fascinating. I heard amazing reviews. So, that would be one autobiography that I'm looking forward to reading. I actually might get it for the Kindle because I feel like it might be cheaper and easier because a lot of people are having a hard time getting their hands on it. So, I have an autobiography, sorry, a nonfiction and... I have a fiction because I do love reading, um, like, fantasy, romance. Like, I just want to get my mind off of sometimes today's problems and stop learning for a while. So I'll go in between a fiction and a nonfiction. I always have one of those two with me at all times. And then, so, how I keep organized with my reading, which you guys have seen me pointing to, is my Goodreads account. I'll leave the um, Goodreads website down below if you want to join. It. I love Goodreads because at the beginning of the year, so next year in 2023, I can set a reading goal um, of how many books I want to read each year. 
and it's kind of fun just to see how far you get on your goal. I know some people are really amazing readers and they read like hundreds of books a, like a year. I'm getting into about 10 to 20 in between there and like I'd like to see if I can hit the 20 mark. But sometimes I don't make it and I try not to stress about it. And it's just interesting to see because so last year I read a lot of fiction books looking at my Goodreads account. This year, I mean non-fiction last year, this year I've been le reading a lot more fiction compared to non-fiction. I don't know why, I think I just need a break, like I said, of turning everything off and just all that. So, but it's just interesting to see. I do, like again, like keeping my Goodreads account up to date, I will have at least the books that I'm currently reading and the books that I have read on my account and that way I can get a accurate account of what I'm reading and what I read and like if I'm going to do a YouTube video of what I've read for the year which will be coming soon and most likely December. Um, I like to wrap them all up and just put in a nice little package just to make sure that I know what I read because sometimes I completely forgot I'm like oh did I read that book last this year was the last year like even too so I met up with my two best friends yesterday and we're, we're talking about books and I pulled up my Goodreads account and like in 2008 was when I read Memoirs of a Geisha. It was like 2008 or 9, I don't remember. But it was cool to see those years that you read these books and just a bit like, oh yeah, I was like during the summer. Oh yeah, it was during the fall and being cozy with the cup of tea. Like it was just fun to go back and like again to... to see what you read that year and what also you might have expanded on like if there's a certain category like I know lately I've been I was have been expanding on nonfiction in the past two to three years because I like to learn and like I said I'm trying to be a lifelong learner I've been doing nonfiction books and some Skillshare classes and YouTube videos so that is how I like to read I'll just sit down and read sometimes it's at night before I go to bed or like on the weekends I'll just after lunch cozy up for an hour half an hour and read a book so there's that and like I said it depends and I just love to read even if it's on a Kindle I don't care like just give me a good book especially like I just love fantasy romance and also to it like I said I've been loving to learn like I love to learn about finance and psychology and just reading autobiographies now have been interesting. So, always learn. School. Stay in school. <laughs> but yeah, so. I, like I said, I didn't think I would like the Kindle, but I actually do. And those are the two ways I do enjoy mostly reading physical books. But sometimes it is quickly cheaper. Like, I bought that book so this is love for only a buck like how can you go wrong and same with reflections i bought it for a buck when the milan movie was coming out the live action one they're having a great sale on it i'm like i'm just gonna buy it why not i really want to read it so i am um, it definitely depends you gotta do your research but i highly suggest if you're a big reader go ahead and get yourself a kindle they are totally worth it i have not tried a nook <laughs> um, because i have the kindle my boss previous boss I should say my previous boss she loves her nook she is a reader like I am like we could just sit and chat about books all day long and it'd just be so much fun just to see what she's reading and what I'm reading so I highly suggest if you're a reader get a Kindle it's been a blast too. and like you said I could just take this and go it's been so fun so well I hope you guys enjoy this video I know it might be a little quick but this is my thoughts on the Kindle and how I like to stay reading my um staying organized with my reading I'm sorry and what I do when I'm reading is like I said it's either fiction or non-fiction I like to have both because I like to learn and I like to have a little fantasy a little fun so don't forget to like and subscribe guys and I'll see you guys real soon in the next video bye